We hold the proud distinction of. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Hello, I'm Robert Mendes, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls of the Greater New Bedford. And we welcome you into the club to show you a lot of the programs and services that we service for many of the New Bedford youth and the Greater New Bedford area. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club of New Bedford holds a proud distinction of being the third oldest Boys and Girls Club in the country, uh, serving over 1,200 youth uh, each year uh, through a multiple uh, range of programs and services that benefit uh, our area youth. So once you step into the building, you'll see firsthand uh, what the club has to offer and the impact that it has on the youth that we serve. The club is located at 166 Jenny Street in the West End of New Bedford. Uh, we're here for our youth every day, Monday through Friday, from 2 in the afternoon till 9 p.m. at night. And then our summer program runs from 9 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Uh, we have Saturday morning programs starting in November for our youth from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Uh, we kind of really focus on low and disadvantaged youth, uh, trying to give them an opportunity uh, for a better way of life. And as our motto goes, great futures start here. And that's what we look for at the Boys and Girls Club. The average uh, membership fee for the Boys and Girls Club is $50 per year. Uh, as an organization, our goal is to serve all youth no matter what financial background they have and quite often we we do find some families that may struggle with that fee so as an organization we go out we try to raise some money uh, to put aside so that for those who don't have the ability to pay the fifty dollars uh, that we can uh, provide them with a scholarship the uh, motto of the boys and girls club is and always has been is that we will never turn a child away for an inability to pay so you know, our doors are always open and we always make it work, but, you know, a lot of part of that is, you know, the help that we get from the general public who, you know, support the Boys and Girls Club so that these kids can be here when they need to be.